What's up, guys? It's Drew Lefty and DV back here with a uh, video. It's the first one I've done in a while. First uh, chance I've really had to do anything in a while. I've got my fifth final tomorrow. It is Finance 3300, so uh, should be fun. Probably not, but uh, anyways, I've had so much going on with school and work, getting ready for the holiday season. Whew, just want to take a step back and breathe after tomorrow. Um, it will be my fifth final in six school days, so I've been, like I said, extremely busy. Uh, a lot of stuff going on. Anyways, enough rambling and complaining, because nobody wants to hear it anyways. So all you complainers should stop. Uh, anyways, got three uh, graded card pickups. This first one is for the Warren Spawn Red Street set. It is a 1951 Topps Redback PSA Near Mint 7. This is an upgrade. I'll show you the grade there. Seven. Awesome looking card. I know Jason put this set together, I believe, with his father. So I know he is familiar with this set. Beautiful looking card. The one I, the one I had before this was a six. So this is an obvious upgrade. Awesome looking card there. The second one I got is a uh, Chipper Jones 1991 Upper Deck rookie card. BGS 9.5. Love that one. Pretty cool card there. Some decent subgrades too, a bunch of nine fives. And the uh, third final one I picked up uh, is probably one of my favorites I've gotten in a while. It is a 1991 Topps Trooper Jones rookie card, PSA. J Man 10. Awesome looking card there. Absolutely love this card. It's uh, in his Bowles high school uniform. As uh, I believe. Russell Wilson just screwed me in fantasy football, throwing a pick at the uh, last minute of the game. Anyways, Trooper Jones rookie, love that card, PSA gym at 10. And uh, yeah, that's all the cards I picked up, but uh, I've been doing a little bit of autograph chasing here lately. I'm not one of those creepy guys that follows the athletes to their dentist or their hotel at 2 in the morning. Uh, hey, if that's your, if that's your deal, more power to you. You probably get way more autographs than I do. But uh, anyways, I'm lucky to be a part of a Facebook group that posts a lot of autograph se sessions and signings and stuff where athletes are going to be. And they recently posted one about Terry Douglas, who's going to be at a McDonald's uh, close to mine and Megan's house. Well, close to Megan, where Megan lives and close enough to my apartment. Um, and uh, anyways, Terry Douglas was going to be there. He's one of the few bright spots for the Falcons this year. So I'd never gotten a Falcons player before. So I grabbed a mini helmet from work. And got Harry Douglas to sign that. Turned out pretty good. Harry Douglas has a wild signature. This camera's not doing it justice. I hate when I have to film this way with the camera. On an iPhone, it's weird. If it doesn't, if you're not, if you're not filming through the back camera, it's not in HD, and I hate it. But whatever. It sucks when only one person. Only got one person to film. But anyways, Harry Douglas on a mini helmet. That was pretty cool. And uh, he was also giving away some other stuff. He asked a trivia question. Who was his brother? Where did he play in college? And what team does he play for now? His brother's Tony Douglas. He played at Auburn his first year, and he played at Florida State the rest of his years. And he plays in the NBA for the, uh, I want to say, uh, I think it was the Golden State Warriors. Anyways, I got it right. <clears throat> and he gave me these pair of Vaporjet gloves, which he signed both of them can't really tell this camera sucks as far as this one goes but he did sign both of them kind of hard to sign on a glove anyways but these gloves are like 80 or 100 dollars if you go try to buy them at dicks or something like that like a like a sports shop but i'll show you what they look like uh, on they have like the little falcons logo in them and the nfl tag and stuff i mean these are like the legit gloves and they're so cool i've never gotten anything this cool signed before Boom. How badass is that? As Nick Mizzy would say, right down, but whatever, Nick. Yankees losing all your players, signing a bunch of old guys. You can have Brian McCann. Anyways, uh, pretty cool gloves there. Really happy about that. Big shout out to Terry Douglas. He was an awesome guy. Really cool. Took a lot of time talking to the kids and stuff, and uh, that's what it's about. Anyways, uh, today's Sunday off work, and uh, Craig Kimmel was going to be doing a signing. It was nasty weather out today, so there wasn't a lot of people that went. And uh, I've gotten him a couple times before, 
but I'd never gotten him on a jersey number. And I figured, hey, might as well get him on that. I think he's going to be a long-time brave, knock on wood. And uh, he's, he's done enough to deserve me putting him on a jersey. So I got him on a jersey number. And he signed and inscribed it, uh, NL Rookie of the Year 2011. So pretty cool there. And uh, that's, it. that's all I got, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope everybody's getting in the holiday spirit. I've got a couple packages that need to go out soon, as soon as I can. I will get them out to you guys. It may be right at or right after Christmas. So I'm not going to be offended if you don't get a video up before the 25th. It won't bother me. Uh, Matt, not mailing yours out. I'll just bring it to the restaurant. And, uh, yeah, that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Pray for him tomorrow. Coming after you finance test. Peace.